Welcome back to another episode of Hammy's Holding Pattern. I'm your host, the one and only Hammy. If you're gonna ride, Dano, ride in style. Yes, we're riding in style with the 1986 classic, The Transformers. When we last left our heroes, they were being attacked by Galvatron, the Unicron-made Decepticon who has now assumed leadership. He is after Ultra Madness and the ultimate power in the universe, the Autobot Matrix of Leadership. I, Galvatron, will crush you just as Megatron crushed Prime. Once safely away, the Decepticons attack the Autobots again in their two separate shuttles. Both shuttles were badly damaged, and Cup, Hot Rod, and the Dinobots crash land on this weird alien planet, while the other Autobots make their break for the planet of junk to try to repair the ship. Robotic fish, robotic seaweed, robotic women and children. I don't understand the biology, but you gotta admit, it's kind of cool. These things are carnivorous. You had a chainsaw hand the whole time. You didn't think to use that on Megatron when you tackle him trying to help your leader out? You had laser hands this whole time, and you didn't think to use that on Megatron? No, you just decided to tackle him and get yourself put into a headlock. Yes, because spraying ink is going to stop robotic fish. We join our other heroes. Ultra Magnus, RC, Springer, Perceptor, Daniel as they're en route to the planet of junk. Say something. Anybody. Daniel? Uh, I'm okay. Oh, thank God. Daniel's okay. Let's try to salvage this thing. Can I help you? I think Daniel can make himself useful with this. It was Spike's exosuit. Dad's exosuit. He told me all about it. Here, try it on. Did I mention I was jealous of this kid? Now he gets to wear a robotic suit. Now try to walk. Come on, you can do it. Dangerous military situation, bad guys hunting you down, planet-eating monster, and let's spend time teaching the child how to wear his suit. Just think about what you want to do before you do it. I'm thinking how I want to slap the writer for putting this kid in the movie. It handicaps the whole storyline. He's probably my single biggest complaint about this movie. Come on, showtime's over. We've got work to do. This must be the jerk capital of the universe. Stop the... No, welcome, Wagonello Stranger, with that good coffee flavor for you. <laughs> I love this guy. You're going to ask a bunch of questions about why he's so ridiculous, and they answer it one simple sentence later in the movie. God, I love this guy. This is Eric Idle from Monty Python. Offer expires while you wait. Operators are standing by. Well, the fun part's over. We're back to the sinister side again. They actually had to add a couple cuss words into this movie to make it a PG rating, because they thought this movie would be too dark for some of the really young audience members. Which I thought was kind of a contradiction, because this franchise was originally set up to sell toys. 
makes for a good movie. Before his imperial magister delivers a verdict, would you like to beg for your lives? Oh yeah, Hot Rod and Cup were captured on this planet. It sometimes helps, but not often. Apparently this Imperial Magistrate is just executing people, even if they're found innocent. Pretty wicked stuff. And these creatures that are floating in the pool below? A lot of fun. I have nothing but contempt for this court. Guilty or innocent? Innocent. They've got more Sharktacons than we have photon charges. Then let's hold the demolition derby. Yeah, Hot Rod and Cup, New Age, Old Timer, Demolition Derby, baby. I had to go out and buy the soundtrack to this movie. Seriously, it is awesome. Even Ben Defender. <laughs> yeah, but look, there are a lot more of those can digging, grill cracking things. Cub ripped the tail off that shark decon, then proceeded to beat others to death with it. That man's got a lot of experience, a lot of spite for an old man. Seriously, he's. What's the expression? Beware of an old man in a profession where men die young. Right in the nick of time, the Dinobots are here. Me, Grimlock, want to munch metal? <laughs> I never thought I'd be so happy to see those big bozos. Shark Decons, execute them! Me Grimlock say execute them! I think the problems on this planet will be solved very shortly. We need a ship. You get ship if I get trip. Who are you? Him wheelie. Him friend. He'll be mine too if he can find a ship. Gifts. Who cares, as long as it flies. Now we bring you back to one of the most ridiculous, yet awesome, and probably the most fun sequence in the movie. Look! Don't look behind door number two, Monty! It's time to play End of the Line, my Valentine! Yes, this movie went there. It's got Weird Al Yankovic. It's not hard to knock them down. It's getting them to stay down that's the trick. You check in, but you don't check out. Yay, Eric Idle. Springer can also turn into a car? I thought it was just a helicopter. Did Daniel just save Springer's life? <laughs> 